Hey, what's up guys? Jake the A-Hole here. Today I wanted to make a special video dedicated to all the NFL fanboys and all the wonderful comments that I get on a daily basis. If you've ever planned on telling anyone that the NFL is rigged and scripted, or if you've already tried to tell someone that the NFL is rigged and scripted, sometimes the backlash can be quite intense. These fanboys don't know how to take having their religion critiqued. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the most funny and ridiculous comments that these NFL fanboys make to me on a daily basis. These comments come in not only by the hundreds, but by the thousands. So the most common comment that I get is this one. It's abundantly clear that you have not participated in any sport of any kind ever in your life. I get this comment the most. Uh, NFL fanboys like to assume that I've never played football, don't know anything about football, never played any sport in my life. I must be just some sort of computer nerd who hates sports, who just made up an entire conspiracy about the NFL being rigged. And somehow I got thousands of people all over the world to agree with me and watch my videos. Just because I'm some salty hater who made the whole thing up because I don't like sports and have never played sports. Yeah, sure fanboys, keep coming with that one. So the second comment that I get most frequently is this, bro, you're just salty because you're a so-and-so fan. Bro, you're just mad because your team lost. So I've been called a Jets fan, a Titans fan, a Bills fan. Whatever team loses in the video clip that they're watching, they'll just assume that I bet on that team and lost and I'm just sad that my team lost. It's the go-to assumption for NFL fanboys that if somebody says the game is rigged, they're just mad because their team lost. The games can't possibly be rigged, right? I'm just mad because my team lost, so I made up the whole thing. And again, I got thousands of people all over the world to agree with me and watch my videos just because I'm so mad that my team lost. Keep coming with that bullcrap, fanboys. When an NFL fanboy sees one of my videos, they always make assumptions, the most ridiculous assumptions that don't have any logical thought whatsoever. Here's one that I get quite a bit. Sounds like someone lost some money. So apparently, if you think the NFL is rigged, that must mean you made a bet and lost money. Because nobody thinks the NFL is rigged unless they lose money, right? And then here's another one. I would like to see you out there trying to make that tackle. Let's see you go out there and try and tackle that guy. Let's see you go out there and try and make a one-handed catch. It's as if you're not allowed to critique the NFL for being rigged unless you yourself are an NFL player. So since I don't personally play in the NFL, I'm not allowed to say it's rigged unless I go out there and try and tackle the players myself. It's the most ridiculous statement ever. That's like saying, hey, you can't say wrestling's fake. Let's see you go out there and try and choke slam the Undertaker. This is the type of thing you can expect if you tell an NFL fanboy that the games are rigged and scripted. They'll say stuff like this. Okay, Eddie Bravo of the NFL. This is the definition of armchair quarterbacking. Yeah, I call out Eddie Bravo as being a puppet on the world stage. So nice try trying to compare him to me. All right, here's another one that I get all the time. So you're telling me the players are all in on it, they know the script, but none of them expose that it's all fixed, even when they get cut and are out of the league? That makes no sense at all. See, NFL fanboys are too busy watching television all day, and they're too drunk and stupid that they don't even do a minute's worth of research. So they don't even do a little simple Google search to see if any former players have came out and admitted it. They expect the TV to spoon feed them that information. Because if they did look into it, they would find guys like Dwight Smith, 
who admitted his own Super Bowl win was rigged and scripted. Larry Johnson, former running back, he just recently came out and admitted the games are fixed. So the players have come out and admitted that the games are fixed and phony. Current players sign a non-disclosure agreement so they're not allowed to come out and say anything or else they'll lose their entire salary and then be sued for even more than that. So legally, players under contract now can't say anything. Former players usually don't want to say anything because they don't want to tarnish their own legacy and admit they were playing phony football. So there's only a few players who have admitted it, but there are players who have admitted it. And I'm getting tired of having to tell these fanboys over and over and over again, look up Dwight Smith, look up Larry Johnson. I have to do this every day. So out of all the comments that I get, by far the dumbest ones are when I say that the NFL is using some sort of magnetic technology inside the balls and in the gloves and with the field goal attempts, something is manipulating the balls. So here's one of the comments right here. Didn't know they made magnets that attracted leather, LMAO. I just stumbled upon this channel and you guys are unhinged and need to seek help, good Lord. So apparently me and everybody who follows me, we're all unhinged and we need to seek help because this guy can't fathom that they could put some magnets in a ball and magnets in gloves or somehow manipulate a ball in midair. That's just completely impossible in his mind, even though the technology is about 10 years old and easily findable on Google and on YouTube if you type in ultimate reception. It's as if this technology could not possibly exist. It's beyond uh, an NFL fanboy's fathom that this technology could ever be used in any game that they're watching. I want to hear your comments about these comments. Leave a comment down below about what you thought about the comments that you saw today. All right, I'll see you next time. Comments.